Hi guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel, 10 Minutes Japan. Today, I will tell you about Yuzuru Hanyu, a Japanese figure skater. He has overcome his difficulties in life and is heading for a gold medal in the 2022 Winter Olympics. So, I want you to know about his personality and episode. Let's check it out! Asthma, Samurai and Gasho, and Winnie the Pooh are the topics that describe the personality of Yuzuru. So let's take a look at each keyword. Yuzuru has had asthma since he was two years old. He could hardly sleep when he had an asthma attack, and he could not attend kindergarten very often. So one of the reasons he started skating was to overcome his disorders. As he grew up, his symptoms improved, but he still has attacks that sometimes prevent him from practicing. When Yuzuru was 15 years old, he had a chance to meet Hirayasu Shimizu, a gold medalist at the 1998 Nagano Olympics who also suffered the same disease. And Yuzuru told him, I want to win a gold medal too, but I have asthma. In response, Hirayasu said, don't worry. You need to practice hard because of your weak lungs, but if you can overcome that, you will be able to compete against the world. Because he could not open his lungs wide enough to breathe in, he was pointed out to be inferior in physical strength and endurance, especially when he was a teenager. However, Yuzuru continued to take medication, acupuncture, treatments to open up his airways, and training to improve his cardiopulmonary function by wearing a mask when moving and practicing. As a result, his physical handicap was significantly reduced. However, it was not a complete recovery. Especially after moving his training base to Canada, Yuzuru revealed that the change in environment caused him to suffer from severe seizures more often. Routines are one of the most essential aspects for athletes to perform their best. Samurai and Gasho are magic actions for Yuzuru. Before every performance, Yuzuru always makes a cross-cutting motion in front of his chest. This is a movement to draw the character Samurai, which means warrior in Japanese. When asked about the meaning of this motion, he said, it's my routine to confirm the axis of the jump. First, draw a single vertical line to straighten the body's vertical axis. Next, draw two horizontal lines and try to keep the line of my shoulders and the line of my waist flat. In this way, my body's axis will not be shaken, and I will achieve stable sliding. After the samurai motion, Yuzuru makes the gasho gesture, which brings his hands together. This means preparing the mind and meditating. Yuzuru loves the Disney character Winnie the Pooh. He always brings a tissue cover of poo to the rink at every competition because he said, seeing his unchanging face always relaxes me. However, at the Sochi Olympics in 2014, he could not bring his friend to the rink. The reason for this was that the IOC was very strict about the handling of logos and trademarks. However, despite this, the nutrition team that accompanied Yuzuru came up with an idea related to poo. They brought pasta in the shape of poo to Sochi and cooked it. With this excellent team, Yuzuru was supported not only nutritionally but also mentally. When Yuzuru was asked about his strengths, he just answered, all of them. This is undoubtedly true. He is an all-around type of skater. First, his spins get a perfect score in most cases. Second, his skating was trained at an early age and further refined at the Cricket Club, a prestigious figure skating club in Canada. Third, his expressive ability to get into the music is excellent. Fourth, his gestures are beautiful with his long arms and legs. So what is the underlying factor of Yuzuru that makes this perfection possible? It's his attitude of always aiming higher, never resting on his honors as an Olympic champion. This must be his greatest strength. Yuzuru is connected to society through skating classes for children. In one class, he told the importance of challenges to children in his own words. He kept asking a few questions in the skating class that made everyone raise their hands, like, who enjoys skating? And suddenly asked, so, who likes to fall? Then children all put their hands down. And he kept talking, but even if you fall a lot, you will get better if you practice and don't give up. Then, think about why you failed. If you do that, you will definitely get better. Good luck. Yuzuru's greatest strength is his ability to analyze himself. He is able to look at himself objectively in every situation, both in games and in practice. 
For example, when a skater starts failing jumps during practice before a competition, he usually feels anxious, wondering, why I am failing. But Yuzuru says, this is what happens with the current run-up. Then this is the cause of my failure, and he analyzes it and tries to lead it to success. Also, he checks the number of cross skating before jumping, the angle of the curve, the speed, and some other aspects, grasping like, the success rate is high if I keep this rhythm. So, when the time comes to play on the ice, he has confidence that he will be fine if he has the right conditions. Figure skating in Japan is divided into three classes according to age, novice, junior, and senior. We will look back at Yuzuru's career according to these categories. Yuzuru started figure skating at the age of four. In 2004, when he was nine years old, he competed in the All Japan Novice Figure Skating Championships, winning the Novice B category, which is for kids between the ages of 9 and 10. And then, in 2007, when he was 12 years old, he won the Novice A category for 11 to 12 year olds. The following year, in 2008, Yuzuru turned 13 and was able to participate in the Junior Generation competitions for players between the ages of 13 and 19. This year, he won the All Japan Junior Figure Skating Championships for the first time. As the winner of this event, he was given the right to participate in the higher class All Japan Championships, where he placed 8th, despite being the youngest competitor. In the same year, he also finished 12th in the World Juniors as the youngest competitor at 14 years and 3 months old. In the 2010-2011 season, when Yuzuru turned 15 years old, he made his debut in the senior class, open to anyone over 15 years old. Overcoming the hardships of the Great East Japan earthquake in 2011, he steadily improved his skills. In the 2013-2014 season, Yuzuru won the All Japan Championships for the second year in a row and was selected for the Sochi Olympics. He then became the first Asian to win a gold medal in the men's singles figure skating at the 2014 Sochi Olympics. After that, he accomplished his first win at the World Championships, which took him to the top of the world. However, Yuzuru's growth still continued. He became the first person in the world to score over 300 points in the total score at the NHK Cup in 2015, winning the championship with an unprecedented score. And in 2016, he won the Grand Prix of figure skating final four times in a row. In 2017, he won the World Championships for the second time, and at the 2018 Pyeongchang Olympics, he won the second consecutive win. And the Beijing Olympics are scheduled to be held in 2022. So we are looking forward to his success in the next dimension. Yuzuru is also known as an athlete who experienced the Great East Japan Earthquake on March 11, 2011. The earthquake struck three weeks after the 2010-2011 season ended. At the moment the earthquake happened, Yuzuru was on the ice at the ice rink Sendai, where he was training at that time. The ice cracked beneath his feet, and he said he felt a tremendous sense of fear. Not caring about the damage to the blades of his skates, Yuzuru evacuated outdoors. Fortunately, the arena did not collapse, and the tsunami did not reach the area. However, a water pipe under the ice burst, flooding the building and making it unusable. The house of Hanyu's family was also severely damaged by the earthquake, and they were forced to live in a shelter set up in a school's gymnasium. After that, Yuzuru managed to continue practicing skating in Aomori, far to the north of Sendai, and then in Yokohama, far to the south. In 2014, three years after the earthquake happened, he won his first gold medal at the Sochi Olympics. After the game, he made a comment. After the earthquake and tsunami, I couldn't skate and was seriously thinking about quitting because I was just trying to survive. But, I'm here today because of the many people who supported me. In 2021, 10 years have passed since the Great East Japan earthquake occurred. Yuzuru has published two autobiographies, and all royalties and part of the revenue from the books have been donated to the ice rink Sendai. In the past 10 years, he has donated 31 million yen in total. In 2015, he was also elected as the Japanese Red Cross spokesman for his continuous support. If Yuzuru won the Winter Olympics for the third time in a row in 2022, he would be the first male athlete to achieve this record in almost 100 years. Overcoming a tough time in 2011, Yuzuru has become mentally stronger and will surely bring hope to the world.
Thank you so much for watching. Give me a big like and your comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Alright guys, bye.